There are very few companies in the world that have all the sporting bases covered. The guns, the shells, the clothing, the accessories, the destination and of course, the shooting. William Powell is that one-stop shop and today we're going to see a small slice of what's on offer. Let's start with the destination. We're on the snow-covered Snailsworth Moor in Yorkshire. The North Yorkshire Moors is the centre of the world and the rest of the world was built round us. He may be biased, but more from the head keeper in a minute. The destination and the sporting agency side of William Powell offers guns grouse, partridge and pheasant here, which means the keepers are busy the whole year round. I like being busy. Now, if I just looked after grouse, my year would quieten down in November. Um, and not get picked up again until sort of late January, February. Now if you just did pheasants, you are quietening down in February where grouse are getting busy again and you don't get going until probably October, maybe November. Uh, and so we get a full season with six months shooting, six months preparing. Our first drive is deep in a winter wonderland valley. The snow has just arrived, which could make the drives interesting. The birds can be befuddled by the white stuff and don't fly as well, but the early signs are good. Good shot. William Powell boss Mark Osborne is fond of this estate and over the past 13 years the company has created a productive and exciting shoot. Very fond of Snarlsworth. Um, it was one of our first managements that we got involved in resuscitating the grass moor and then building up the low ground shoot so it has a particular place in our Let's try that again. It's a stunning grass moor, three day grass moor, and a lovely low ground shoot. So we're pretty well, we start on August the 12th and we're shooting right through to the end of January. One of the few estates that can do that and do it consistently. The guns are all Mark's guests. It's a mixed bag of keepers from other estates, plus some of his young team who, without skipping a beat, can be gun aficionados or land agents or, today, enthusiastic shots. I've never shot at so many consistently high birds. I mean, I've shot in some pretty interesting places without putting names to them. Those were higher consistently throughout the drive on my peg. I shot the highest right and left I've ever uh, taken, which was witnessed, thankfully, and uh, I shot at the highest bird I've ever shot at, and well, it's a pleasure to be able to miss birds like that. It was an absolute stormer, and then I took, well, a, a, a hen off the sky. It was, it was just, well, fantastic. And one thing I will say, I was rather pleased to go to bed at a half reasonable time last night so that I could address the situation uh, as I should have done. I didn't shoot too badly. Let's move on to the guns and we have the full range of William Powell's with us today from the elegant Marquis to the no-nonsense Linup. Mark describes it as an over and under but clearly it's a side-by-side. -side. So this gun is, believe it or not, a side-by-side -side, built like an over and under. It will shoot up to 46 gram cartridges. Now not many people would want to shoot 46 gram cartridges uh, through a side-by-side -side, but it's a very comfortable gun at 34, 36, 38 gram cartridges, which almost all cyber sides would really struggle with. This gun doesn't struggle with it because it's built on a heavier action than our, any of our other models. So it's a bigger frame gun and it weighs more as a result, so it absorbs the recoil. So you can shoot these big cartridges and it doesn't knock you around and it doesn't knock the gun either. So this gun is designed for shooting big cartridges at high birds. It's got a raised rib, so it shoots, it handles like a cyber side because it is a cyber side, but it aims like an over and under. So you've got that top sighting rib, and it's a perfect gun for shooting high birds. Our second drive is in the valley in front of Jimmy's cottage. The birds loop high across the guns, who enjoy some amazing shots considering the conditions. As we mentioned earlier, we are shooting pheasant and partridge on a grouse moor. It was made abundantly clear by Jimmy in his chat first thing that grouse are not to be shot. And here's how to tell the difference. 
If you're worried about accidentally shooting a grouse, you see a partridge coming and you think, is it a grouse, is it a partridge? And you're not good at recognising them. A tip is, look at the wing ends. They look like they've got fingers on the wing ends. That's a grouse. Partridges have got nice, tight wing ends. There are lots of other differences, but in a split second, that's the one thing to look out for. Up on the wall, the birds are so high, they're disappearing into the low cloud. The conditions are proving challenging today, but it's all part of the character of Snilesworth. Jimmy reckons that having a passion for the ground and a close team makes it work no matter which way the wind blows or the snow falls. To make the perfect place you want a piece of chalk, draw a circle around yourself, that's the perfect place. It's entirely up to you how to make the perfect place, and that's what we try to do here. I mean, all, all the lads have worked here for seven, eight years, everybody gets on. We've all worked hard at getting on with each other and making it how we'd like it to be and of course how our boss would like it to be that's the main thing <laughs> to make the most of the day we shoot through some delicious homemade food and a fire keeps the guns warm inside and out it proves to be a successful day finishing with a drive to challenge any gun For more information about William Powell's Continental Gun Range, their clothing kit or the sports they offer all over the world, go to williampowell.com.